Good morning, everyone. I thought I'd just connect in. I'm on uh, annual leave this week, but uh, uh, it's Sunday afternoon as I record this, uh, and I thought I'd better leave something for, for those who, who may be connecting in on Facebook this week. So uh, I've got a short poem I'm going to read that someone gave me this morning that seems, uh, seems very apt uh, for those who, who know me and have perhaps joined us uh, in worship at times. It's called The Bee's Knees, or Holy Moses, and it's by uh, a Cornish a poet by the name of Clarice Westlake. There are many ways of serving God, I'm sure you will agree. Some are universal, some just for you and me. One way I'm sure would please him, to help your fellow man, perhaps to brighten up the life of some deserving gran. But even he must be surprised when looking down below to see the special lengths to which his reverend son will go. What greater sacrifice be made, what greater wish to please, than for your local minister to flash his hairy knees. But if all his works are wonderful, which cannot be denied, then your legs are no exception, so wear those shorts with pride. I can only imagine, uh, I don't think I've ever met Clarice, but there's a hairy knees. And uh, uh, clearly there's a local vicar to her in Cornwall who uh, has inspired that. But uh, best to pray, I think. Lord, we thank you that all your works are indeed wonderful. And uh, we pray that uh, you would remind us of that as we uh, see your creation around us, see it blooming in this uh, uh, springtime. Uh, and as we uh, celebrate uh, the life we have because of all that uh, you have done through your son. Uh, and we pray in this season approaching uh, Pentecost, that we would know your spirit with us every step of the way and in each, uh, in, in each day, in each week as we gather, uh, as we spend time in prayer for others and uh, for ourselves. Bless us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you today. Look forward to, uh, look forward to connecting up soon.